child does not even attend school, spends the entire day here in child care. And yet, a couple of them were from the Head Start program where we have four sections, and then we have the rest of the children from third grade down. I really want to thank them and Ms. Tracy Newman for the presentation. I would also like to introduce just a guy that I've worked with for years. I introduced him earlier by name, but Bob Griffin, this gentleman here, he is always responsible for maintenance of this building. Mr. Steve Adams, your custodian, worked for him. When it was presented to us during one of my vacation days that we were going to have an Arbor Day ceremony here, I said, Bob, I need your help. Mr. Griffin had supplied all of the help we really needed. If you've noticed, they put saplings surrounding the whole building. You children, I want you to protect the life of every plant that has been put around this building to make it even more attractive that your society may be greener in the future. Mr. Griffin, we certainly appreciate all the help you've given us, so let's give this guy a real
you boys and girls, you just did a wonderful job. Now give yourself another big hand. Good morning. Good morning. What day is today? Yeah. All right. It's good to see you all here today. And I really am very happy. Principal Bass, all the platform guests who are here. I just wanted to come out today to also express my uh, real concern with the environment. And you know that song you sang? It's just a wonderful song because it talks about nature and all the important things about nature. But today, we want to celebrate the planting of a tree who extends its roots deep into the ground and takes the nutrients from the ground and grows and grows and grows. You know, trees are also just like human beings. You grow and grow and you extend your limbs and you reach out and you become grown-ups and you have all the knowledge and you have all the understanding and you just become greater and greater. So as you celebrate today, I want you to remember one thing once again that I say to every student everywhere. Knowledge is power. Say it. Knowledge is power. With knowledge, you can fly to the moon. With knowledge, you can be anything you want to be. With knowledge, you can be anything you want to be. So you make sure, and you don't have to repeat after me, you make sure you listen to your teacher. You make sure that you ask all the questions that you can possibly ask and don't be afraid to ask them because you know what? If you don't understand, you'll never know. And if you don't ask questions, you'll never know. So always ask and understand. And don't be afraid that somebody might laugh at you or say something that you don't want to hear. You just make sure that you get the right answer so you can keep growing and understanding. And I want you to do that for me. I'm here today to read a proclamation. And a proclamation is something that the mayor issues to celebrate and to lay out a foundation for the week to come. And this proclamation that I have says the following. And I'm going to read it for you, okay? Whereas trees beautify our city, increase property value, enhance the economic vitality of bus business areas and schools, provides wood for homes, fuel for fires, paper, and many other wood products, and whereas Arbor Day, and that's what today is, Arbor Day celebrates the trees 
pores that make our world inhabitable and our air breathable, provide shelter and sustenance for humans and our fellow creatures, and bring a special beauty and meaning to our urban environment. Now therefore I, Norman B. Rice, Mayor of the City of Seattle, do hereby proclaim April 11th as Arbor Day in Seattle, and I urge the people of our community to support the efforts to protect our trees and woodlands, to support our city's urban forestry program, and plant trees, and plant trees which will gladden the hearts and promote the well-being of present and future generations. Let's take this as a time of celebration of life by planting a tree that will extend life for generations and generations to come. Just as we plant the tree, I once again urge you to plant knowledge in your minds. Plant knowledge in your minds so that your minds and you will grow for generations and generations to come. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor, for your presentation. Another person that I've worked with on a daily basis to have taken time from her very busy schedule because she has a special interest in Bailey Gatcher School. She too joins us on this Arbor Day celebration. May I present to you my boss and a person really has knowledge and leadership in the Department of Natural Resources. I we'll have a few comments to make regarding this symbolic presentation today. Brian Ball, we'd like to welcome you. Thank you, Mr. Bass. I'm going to present an award to Mayor Rice and that award makes Seattle what we call Tree City USA. And so today, in addition to representing the state of Washington and being the commissioner of public lands for the state, I'm also representing what's called the National Arbor Day Foundation. And every year, the National Arbor Day Foundation gives some awards to cities that do some things to protect the environment inside the city. Now this is the fifth year that Seattle gets this award. And it's called Tree City USA. I want to offer this to Mayor Rice, but first I want to make a comment. Ms. Bailey and Mayor Rice talked about knowledge. Do you know the word called stewardship? Does anybody know? Raise your hand if you know the word stewardship. There's one hand back in the back. What does stewardship mean to you, young lady in the back? She was just stretching. Come on. of the forests and the parks 
in the city, and we're making a commitment to that. And so I'm making an award today to the mayor, congratulating him and congratulating the city of Seattle, because they have made a long-term commitment to protecting the forests and the trees and the parks in the city. And not only that, they're planting trees all over the city. Now, I want to ask you something. I want to ask you to make a little commitment to yourself. And the commitment is that if you help trees grow, and if you help the parks be healthy, and if you help these trees that we plant today be protected and help make sure that they're watered and that nothing happens to them, then you will also be stewards. You'll be stewards of the land and the trees and the environment. And it's a very, very important word to know. To be a steward means to keep the environment healthy and strong and growing. And stewardship means that little something that each one of us can contribute to help the environment and the world be better. So the mayor is one of those people who is a steward. And he's very committed to this. And so because of that, I want to give him this award. So Mayor Rice.
Nelson Surratt. Samson Delano is representing room 11. Mary Gorda Clef is representing room 12. From room 13, we have Josh Silver. Mimi Siga from room 14. Adrian Claxton is representing room 15. And Akila Qual from room 16. As soon as Akila gets your plant, then you can clap. Okay, go. ones we did over there on, uh, where was it? To, Hamilton? On Hamilton. Right. All right. Good. Your turn. Okay. <laughs> Look at him. Such good, depth. Good, good, good. good movement. <laughs> you want one? Come on, Mona. Come on, Mona. You got to give it to us. We want to make sure this is an open kind of thing. <laughs> Let's see if the 
Josh can get a little All right. Here. Come on, Josh. This is part of your job. Here we go. Anyone else over here? Come on down with me. Here, right here. Come on, come on. Come down here. So is this shot? Here we go. This one now we gotta do together. There we go. Now come on. Boom. Wanna try that one more time? Give me another one. Come on. On this side. There. All right. <laughs> oh, here we are. By golly, we'll get a load of it here. All right. Okay, get up there. Did you do one already? Grab hold of it. Give it a shot. One? Yes, you can. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Are you ready? One, two, three. Come on. Let's get a big load, a big load, a big load, a big load. Let's give it a evil. Ah, you did it. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, wow. did you do it yet? Here we go. Take it off. <laughs> Take a little yeah. there. There. You can do one more. <laughs> You're a strong guy. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you can. Thank you. 